guys, Jin here, and welcome back to Blindly Honestly. And if you are new, hi, hello, and welcome. And I really hope you enjoyed today's video as well. So before we get started, let me go ahead and ask you guys to do me a favor. Please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already, and share this video out there with your friends so that they can enjoy it as well. So here we are today doing another Christmas nail look. I had planned to do two of these, and I'm really happy I had time to do it. So what we are going today to do today is attempt to do a marbling technique with the nails and I'm going to still be using the gelish nail polish, the top coat, base coat, and colors. And for the marbling colors, I'm going to attempt to use the Plum Thing Magical, which is that really pretty purple, the Dreaming of Gleaming, which is the silver, as well as baby it's bold outside which is the dark blue i am worried about using the dreamy of gleaming silver with these so if the silver does not work i'm going to switch to just a normal white polish so to get started we're going to start with the base coat And I'm just going to take a dotting tool and clean up any polish I may have gotten on my skin so that it is a little bit cleaner this time because last time it was very, very messy and I was not too happy with that mess. So now that we've done our layer of the base, I'm going to go ahead and put this into the timer for 120 seconds. Aren't these dotting tools cute? Yeah, I got these about four years ago off of Amazon. If I can find the link, I'll post them in the description box for you. If not, I'll try to find some similar. Okay, now for the base color before we do the actual marbling, I'm going to take the Baby It's Bold outside, which is the blue. I'm gonna do all the nails except for the accent finger. For the accent finger, we are going to use Plumping Magical. Alright, so now I'm taking the dotting tool and again, cleaning off the sides. Okay, now that we have done that, we're going to open up Plump Thing Magical. And we're going to go ahead and put a layer of this. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, it's glittery. That is a pretty purple. Like that is a very, very pretty purple. So now we're gonna go ahead and put this back into here for 120 seconds. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do a second layer of each shade. All right, so now the second layer goes back into the dryer. Okay, so now that they have the final layer, we are going to do the next step. For this step, I'm gonna do the blue first to show you what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna start on the middle finger just so that it is easier for you to see. So we're gonna take a piece of hard plastic. This is just the case I used for the nail art from my last video. And we're gonna take the Dreaming of Gleaming. And I'm gonna put a couple globs of it on here. That is the funniest looking silver. So I'm kind of worried about this color because if you look, it's kind of like a goldish silver. So we're gonna see. So for this, we're gonna add another layer of the Baby It's Bold outside. And then I'm going to take my large dotting tool. We're going to get into this one and we're gonna add a couple dots of it all over. And then I'm gonna take the other end and we're just gonna blend that together. And if you're not happy, you can always take the blue and add more blue to it. I mean, it looks pretty, but you're not gonna be able to really tell. So I'm gonna take this white from Kiss. This is nail art paint. So I'm gonna put a big glob of it, a few dots, and then let's blend that. So that looks really pretty with the silver and the white together. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to all of my nails. Okay. 
If you notice that the gel on your card or plate, whatever you're putting the paint on is getting thick, you can just go ahead and add some more. So I'm gonna finish the blue nails first and then I'll do the purple just so it doesn't get all mixed up. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put this into the dryer, let it dry, and then we're gonna clean it up because it looks really, really messy. So back to the dryer for 120 seconds. All right, so I cleaned them up as best as I can right now because I didn't want to mess up the polish too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the gelish top coat and go ahead and add the final layer to the top of all of these. And now back into the nail dryer. Alright, and just be on the safe side with this, I'm going to put my nails in a second time just so that they are double cured. Alright, so now we're gonna do the final touch, which is just to rub off the extra top coat with an alcohol drenched cotton pad, white pad ball whatever you have and that is the finished look I'm not gonna do a stamp I just wanted to do a very basic marbling look it is actually super super pretty so I'm gonna go ahead and do my other hand and then I'll be back at the end with some cleaned up nails this time not some funky looking nails like last time and that is the finished look you guys I didn't want to do any stamping design over it or anything like that because I just wanted a very basic just like a nice pretty glittery look. Um, this honestly could really be called a sugar plum look as well or something like that. I don't really know what you would call it. I was going to call it a wintry Christmas nail design. But what I really love about this is that really no two nails have the same design. They all have their own little special unique quality to them. And that's what I really like about the look. So if you guys like this nail look, please let me know down below. Comment down below if you think I should have done a stamp design over it or if it looks good as is. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and get going. If you guys like the video, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to join the hashtag butterfly squad, make sure you ring my bell because that way you'll be notified every time I upload the videos. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.